All right. So on this trail, we are going to customize compact layouts. So what is a compact layout? So if we scroll here on this trail, you will see like for this example on the mobile, um, this is for selling houses, right? For example, this is the default layout. It's just say, saying property and then the address. Now we can change it and add key information or important information uh, that we want to add additional to the basic information. So it says um, the list price and the number and the address is already on the top here, right? So we are going to do our own example. Let me bring in my phone screen over here. All right, <clears throat> now you can see my phone screen, our school example. So I'm gonna click on the menu here and go to the student. And I'm gonna select the student over here, students. And I'm gonna choose Rebecca for our example again. So this top part here is the compact layout. Right now it's just saying the name of the student Rebecca and Mr. J is the teacher and she is in grade five elementary, right? Now let's put her birth date on the top here. So we have more key information. We know like what the age or when is, when is her birthday, just for this particular example. So that's pretty easy, right? So we want to put it on the top, okay? Let's go and do that. All right, I'm gonna put down my phone and we are going to go to our playground. So on here, hands on orgs. Um, go here. So tell me now, where do we go? Do you remember? <laughs> you should you should remember by now, okay? So we go to set up. Of course, set up where we want to customize anything. It's always on the setup. So now we are going to change the layout of the student record, student object, right? So we go to this object manager, okay? And I'm going to search for my student object. For my student object here. Okay, so now we are going to compact layouts. Since we are going to change the compact layouts. Now we already have a student compact layout. So we are going to change this a bit. This is from the previous trail. So you've already created a compact layout. We just haven't previewed it from a mobile phone. So now we're just going to modify it. To, to modify it, you can click here. And I'm going to edit and add the birth date on the top. Okay, so we have the student name, the teacher, the grade, and the birth date. And hit save. And that's pretty much it. Right? So I'm going to bring back my phone. There we are. So this is Rebecca, Mr. J in five, and I'm gonna pull down and refresh. It's still saying that. Takes a while, there we go. So if you make changes on Salesforce and you didn't see it right away, be patient. It doesn't mean you did it wrong right sometimes not sometimes most of the time it takes a few seconds sometimes even up to a minute or two for your changes to appear on the production environment even on the sandbox 
Okay, I'm gonna take that out. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so that is pretty quick actually, right? So let's go and do another one. So practice makes perfect. Let's do the one from our trail head. So <clears throat> on this particular trail head, we want to um, change the contact layout, the contact layout of the the contacts to have a mobile contact layout. And we just want to add uh, name, phone, stage, email there, right? And then assign the new compact layout to users because we didn't get to assign the compact layout to users for our student layout just now because it's already assigned from the previous trail we did together. So I'm just going to do this together with you. So let me bring my phone right now and show you how the contact layouts um, right now looks like. Come on phone, come over phone, here we go. So um, on here you see contacts. I'm going to click on contacts. So we have only Marvin the mouse at the moment, right? Marvin the mouse. Um, as you can see here, we have the phone number on the top. Okay, there you go. Stop, stop buzzing. <laughs> okay, so Marvin the mouse, we only have the phone number on the top here, okay? So let's say we want to also, what do you think? Bring, well, we don't have anything. Or stage here. We want to bring the stage on top as well, as well as the email, okay? So email, do we already have that? No. So we want to bring the stage and the email on the very top. Whoa, it's a good project. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna bring this on the side again. I'm going to go back to my playground. So where do we go? Object manager and then contacts here. Okay, contact. Um, I'm gonna put my phone down. Also, we're going to go to compact layouts again, of course. But now we only have one, the system default. So we want to make a new one just for mobile, okay? New compact layout assignment. So we're actually following the trail here, right? We're following the steps on the trail here, all right? And I'm going to, not assignment, back again. We're going to make a new one first, okay? And compact not compact, mobile contact layout. All right, and then what do we want on the information here? Let's see the trail head. Name, phone, stage, email, okay? Name, phone, stage, and email. So first, I want the name. Just type N here, the, the first letter, N. So it highlights that name, phone, P, and an S, stage, and E, email. There we have it. So this is the fields that we want to show on the very top. On the very top where? Let me bring it over again to you. So we can see this thing together. On the very top here, right? I want those on the very top here. Therefore... I brought name, phone, stage, email. So it's going to be name, phone, name, phone, stage, email. Okay, I'm going to save this guy. Okay. Bring this to the right so we can see it. So now we have to assign it. Assign. Edit assignment. Choose the mobile contact layout for everybody. So, well, that's pretty much it. That's another quick one. After this, we're gonna do the challenge, okay? So we just changed the mobile contact layout. So if I refresh this guy, Marvin the mouse, we should see name, which is already top, and then uh, phone, stage, email, right? So I'm gonna pull this down with my phone, refresh, 
not yet remember what I said before it takes a few seconds second try there we go I see something going on see Marvin the mouse the phone the prospect and the email just as we want it so we just did that so we have created a new compact layout after you create it you assign it okay so uh, so it's actually showing on the real thing on the real world otherwise you created a new one but it's not being used so it's like you just bought a new car but it's just parked in your garage it's not being driven by anybody what a waste right so you create one and use it of course we have to use it always okay so remember to use whatever you're creating in Salesforce. You create stuff, make sure it's being used. Otherwise, that is a, such a waste, right? Okay, so now back to here. The last practice is the challenge. Here. Create and enable a compact layout. Now it's the account part. Well, too easy. But let's do it anyway, okay? So... Where do we go? You tell me. Account, contact, layout. Of course, we go to account. All right. Very top here, account. And then where do we go here? Compact layouts. Right? Compact layouts. Easy peasy. Now, new. First new, then assign. Okay. New. We have to make it precise because that's what um, Salesforce wants or the, the trailhead. So mobile account layout. So it has to be exactly like mobile account layout. Let's type it in. And what do we want? Name, revenue, phone type. Okay. Name, revenue, phone, T, type. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to assign it. Don't forget to use it whenever you create something. We use it there. All right. And then save the guy. And to be very sure, sure that we get the 500 points, I'm going to bring over my phone again and show you. Come on, phone. Come, come over phone here. All right, so I'm going to tap on the menu here. And I'm going to tap on accounts. And pick one here, whatever we see here. Mm, that's not really it, right? Type. We want revenue and stuff, I think. There we go. Oops, we have it, right? it changes so we have the revenue the phone and the type so we did it now we better get the 500 points bada bing bada boom three two one 500 points and i'll see you on the next trail boom <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'll see you on the next trail.